Hello, how are you? This is Jilly Bling. Today's project is quite a bit different. What do you think? It's, it's kind of fitting for the fall season just because right now we've had so much rain, a little bit of sunshine, <clears throat> and in the grass around the trees it seems like there are all kinds of mushrooms coming up. So I kept on thinking about this and I saw it online from um, Michaela, Michaela um, Teether Ridge and I loved it and I just kept thinking about it and I thought, you know, if I keep thinking about it, there's something about it. So here it is. So this is today's project and this is a thank you card for anyone who has placed an order of $50 or more with me in the month of November. Um, I love to send out these thank you cards. If it wasn't for those that place orders, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I'd have to come up with something else, so I love to say thank you. So this is today's project. I'll be using Ringed with Nature bundle. The bundle includes um, the stamp set, dies, and also an embossing folder, a hybrid embossing folder. Won't be using that today, but mostly just the mushrooms the stems, and the greenery. But it's great for so many different um, occasions. This is great for Christmas with the berries. Great for just any season. This is really good for spring. Love the tree rings, which is what the dyes in the embossing folder is all about. This, I think if you turn the, um, the mushroom tops upside down, you can make it a an acorn. Great set. Also, nature's prints, mostly for this fern and the splatter. Great words. Oh, we'll be using, this is where the happy thoughts come from. So we'll be using that. Tree ring dies. We'll be using quite a few of these, but there's a lot of different options here. Deckled rectangles, which is for this rectangle right here. And cheerful daisies for the sprig in granite gray. And I'm trying not to touch this because I just finished it. And um, these little dots, which are pearlized enamel effects, they're still wet. They'll dry here soon. Well, they're okay. I had enough time to let the dog in and back out. But that didn't take very long at all. So if you haven't already, if you can hit the, the thumbs up button and the subscribe, that would be wonderful. Okay, let's get started. So here's the basics. And I'll put all the paper cut sizes on my blog, which is jillybling.com. Um, and then photos and close-up photos of everything. So we're just starting out really simple. Granite gray card base and two pieces of white paper. And let's see what this is. This is for the words. This is Pebbled Path. Let's just do that while we're while we're on the roll. So that is with oh, and the ink pads are Versamark, Granny Apple, Cherry Cobbler, Granite Gray, Pool Party, and Garden Green. And a lot of them are just a hint of color. Oh, and we have to use our embossing buddy because on the first one I didn't use the embossing buddy, and um. It matters just because let me show you I got you know if you don't use it embossing buddy you get little white splatters so I tried to take my pebbled path marker and color it in didn't touch it so don't do what I did use your embossing buddy it's worth it oops missed the garbage can there it is okay so happy thoughts I just want, instead of best, best wishes and happy thoughts, I want just the happy thoughts. I'm going to put this in white embossing powder. Hmm, that came out pretty well. And then I'll 
I'll just trim that. So the kids are in Klamath Falls on their property, working on their, their cabin again. And for Christmas, they got from family, um, their windows and doors. Oh, I had to cut that one smaller. So they are all excited. And um, we were gonna go away for Thanksgiving, but we didn't have a bow sitter because they said, that's four days. Those four days we wanna be working on the cabin so no, no, we can't, we can't sit. <laughs> so it's fine. It's great to see their excitement. So they came for Thanksgiving um, dinner. And then right after that came back here and changed and took off. So that was like seven o'clock at night that they took off. And it's going to be 15 degrees and they're in a tent. I used to do that when I was young. There's no way I'd do that. Okay, so these pieces, which are the sprigs, the mushroom stems, and the rectangle, I'm gonna cut from just white paper. And while I was at it, I cut three mushroom tops and this one sprig, and that's from Cheerful Daisies, this sprig right here. And that's cut out of granite gray. And these mushroom tops, three of them, are cut from Poppy, Poppy Parade. I'm going to use this. Okay, we are, we are getting there. I think we have all the elements. We just need to add a little color because right now it's pretty, pretty neutral. So let's add some pool party swoosh. Because when you look at the sample, see how it looks like there's maybe some sky or a little bit of luminescent um, behind the image. That's just a hint of pool party. Now I'll do a little bit of this on the inside. Again, just for a little interest. That should do it. So for the inside, see how there's just a little pool party right there? Sometimes I have to look up and see. Can you see that it's there? Better from afar. Better from afar. inside paper the pool party but I'm not very effective here maybe I need to re-ink my pool party Sometimes I'm doing it and I'm using the blending brush and it's like nothing is coming out and I keep going and then I look back on it as like, oh yeah, I guess it was coming out. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so that's for the inside. So this is going to go on to the front, but I need to do, oh, hope that didn't touch. That's good. These little splatters. And the splatters come from Nature's Print. That's gonna be in granite. Splatter. Splatter. Okay, and the fern from Nature's Print 
will go in garden green. That's all the stamping for the outside we have to do. So now some dimensionals. So Tonya is out feeding the kids chickens. When they're gone, that's what he does. He's like, do you want to come with? I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I've, I've done that before. Once is enough. They sent a video, and it's in the morning. At the coldest part of the day, it's 15 degrees, and they're in a tent. I'll be ready for them to have this cabin up. Um, but they sent a video of a crackling fire, and you could see their feet are by each other, by the fire. And then Michaela said, listen for the coyotes. I'm like, really? Oh my gosh. You can hear coyotes. Creepy. They think it's cool. I think it's scary. Okay, so there's three stems. We're gonna put a little bit of granny apple on. Granny apple. Just a little bit of color. And as I say that, I get a lot of color. Okay, this one, the stems are gonna be heavy in color and the branches can be light. <laughs> I'm making it up as I go. Just because this one, it was all kind of the same. And I would, I'm fine with some areas being heavier than others, but um, not really that heavy. That's okay. See, now these are lighter. And I really should get to putting the cherry cobbler on the mushroom tops because that takes just a minute to dry. So it's Poppy Parade, but I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler to kind of create shadows and roundness for the mushroom tops. And I noticed I did the pearlized effects on the dots and the ones that the dots that I put where I sponged it, they turned a little red. The dots that are not sponged remained white. Go figured. I know. It's just the way it is. I'll pretend like I planned that. Okay, so. See, look what a difference it is. Let me finish this one. When you do the sponging, here it just looks like I'm making it dirty. But when you put these mushroom tops next to here, what a difference, huh? It's worth it. Okay, that's good. Dry, dry. Okay, is it time to start assembling? I think it might be. Well, that one kind of quick. Okay, so first is going to be, maybe I should try it. I should have tried it this way. Oh, the fern one to fit. What's going on here? Oh, there it is. 
So this can just get glue. Oh, Bo is barking. He barks when he sees the neighbors opening their gate. But I could tell he's staying right up here on the porch. He's so funny. He's kind of a chicken. Like if somebody comes, he stays on the porch in his safe spot. <laughs> he's still on the porch. Oh, now he's going off to the side. Yeah, he's a tough boy. He didn't want to come in, even though it's cold out there. It's like it's in the 40s. Sometimes I think he barks just because he misses Tony. He's like, hey, come home, wherever you are. Can you hear me? Come home. Being a hound dog, he also likes to, he thinks he's showing off. Where if um, somebody comes or if Tony's out there not giving him attention, he'll go and start barking up a tree like he found something. And I'd say 90% of the time, there's nothing up the tree. He's just, he's trying to be like a manly dog. That's my take on it. He probably doesn't appreciate that, but that's okay. Tony and I, we jokingly say, yeah, he's trying to get his dinner. He's trying to get us a tree chicken <laughs> up the tree. And he does it for Tony, not for me, which I'm perfectly fine with. Mushrooms. I'm going to put the tall one in the middle. On this one, the mushroom stalk is thick at the bottom, thinner at the top. This one, it was going to be going the wrong direction, so I turned it upside down. You never know. Two, and the third one. Oh, the dark ones are kind of nice, huh? Okay, just like that. Now that I got them perfectly placed, I have to pick them up again. That's also a good opportunity to cover up little embossing powder dots on my words. I like this one tucked in back there. So I'm just itching to play with the new stuff from the spring mini catalog. I can't wait. Soon, soon, soon. Maybe one more or two more Christmas cards and then springtime. Okay, so now it's time for pearlized enamel effects dots. So for sure where there's indentations, maybe I'll just leave this one like that. It's kind of nice because these are raised. 
I was thinking about finding a, um, a chalk pen or a gel pen to fill it in. But these are like bumps, like on real mushrooms. Cute. Oh, and you know, I said to myself, do the inside before you put the dots on. Too excited. Just want to do those dots. Okay, so for the inside, very simple. So I have the pool party. Now I'll do granite mushroom stems. Cherry mushroom tops. and a little bit of green at the bottom and granny apple stamped off. Granny apple stamp off green. Oop, that's a full strength. Didn't stamp off very well. I'll do a full strength one over here. That's kind of fun. Okay. Getting crazy with that. So that's it. This is kind of an easy well, you think it's easy. An easy card. I get this on the inside. So later today, I'm going to put host code here. Later today, I will be um, doing mail selector, which is the little system we use to order the mini catalog and celebration catalog to go out in mid-December so that you get it before the start date of January, I think it's like the 5th or the 6th. So if you don't already have a demonstrator and you'd like to place an order, if you can, use the host code um, and that will make sure that you're on the list to get a mini catalog. So that's today's project. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye.